Hello everyone, Danny here from Power365 Solutions. Today I'm going to answer a question I get asked quite a lot using Power Automate. Is why does my screen look different? Now I'm going to show you I'm going to show you why, but at the same time I'm also going to have a little bit of fun with using a button as well. So uh, hope you enjoy. So what you see in front of me, makers should be familiar with. I'm inside the Power Apps make.powerapps.com environments, and these are the solutions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to open up a flow for example so one of our solutions flow examples and again you should be very familiar with it and this is where most people go wrong when creating or editing or debugging a flow they create that create it within this area realistically what you need to do is navigate to the power automate once this loads up it looks very much like the power apps make sure you're in the correct environment go to your solutions Again, very similar to what you've seen before. So if I show you, you can see here's my solutions here in Power Apps and here's my solutions here in Microsoft Power Automate. I'll then select my flow examples and I can begin to create from here. I'm back in the Power Apps solutions, the, the area which I told you not to create them, um, but I'm just gonna create it in the Power Apps area and then I'm gonna demonstrate it in there and then we're gonna move across to the Power Automate and then I'm gonna show you the differences. So I'm just going to create a very basic flow, an automation flow, and this is also where we're going to have the fun. I'm going to go instant cloud flow, and then I'm going to call it location flow, and then we're going to have a manual trigger on it. So I'll just put create on that one. So this has now created it in my Power Apps. And what you can see now, we've got a manual trigger flow. Um, we can add an input. So what I'm going to do here is I want to create a contact. So I'm going to demonstrate to you adding location services from um, the press of a button. So when we click this button, we're going to get your, uh, your latitude, your longitude, your postcode, your city address, just by pressing the button and using the features within your devices to pull that data. Yes, you can do this many ways, but I'm just going to show you how easy it is to do it with a manual trigger flow. So the first thing we want to put in here, if we're capturing a contact, we need the surname. So what I'm going to do is just add a basic text field in here, and we're going to call this surname. That's all I need to do for the manual trigger. But now the next part is the bit that's quite magical. So I'm going to add a new step. Again, you should be familiar with this, Microsoft Dataverse. I'm going to add a new row. I'm going to select contacts because we want to create contacts. Again, you can name these, and we're not, not going to do it in this purpose, but you can see that last name is asterisked. So what we can do in here is look for the dynamic content. So this is the first part where things are different. So I'm going to show you this bit now, and I'm going to add the last name in. Uh, but you can see how it's difficult to navigate through here. You know, you've got to really scroll through everything to find everything. Um, the same with expressions. Yes, you can search in here, and it will bring what you need. But I'm going to scroll down, and in here you can start to see some details that are pulled from the manual trigger. Um, for this purpose, I'll, I'll go into the other ones in a moment, but for this purpose, I just want to add in surname. So surname is added, I'm going to click save. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is once it's saved, I'm going to go across to the Power Automate. Once it's saved, come in here, refresh, and I'm going to continue building from here, but what I'm going to show you is if I go to flow examples that loads up hopefully it's all saved now and inside the flow examples you should see the flow that we've started to build so if I open this up so the first thing I want to show you is in the edit mode so we're going to add um, a name I'm going to show you the differences so if I have them both opened up you can see in here uh, the functionality the box is quite compressed if I now go to my edit and have a look in here you can see I've got two options now. I've got FX for function and ex functions and express expressions. I can add a dynamic value. You can see that it's a lot different already. I can close these boxes already, so it'll, I'm already on to a winner. What I want to show you next is opening up a error log or any JSON once you're already inside the location flow. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to test this one. I'm going to run it manually. So put test. So it will go and create a, a record. So I'm just going to type my name in here. I'll put, I'm going to put test at the end so I can remove it. Um, and then I'm going to run flow. If I click done, you'll see it'll go through the steps. 
So manually triggering a flow, didn't take too long because obviously I did it myself. And then hopefully it will create a new row. So you can see it's created a new row. And now the next problem that people get is when they're trying to decipher any errors or trying to work out what schema names they need, they've either got to go through here, like there's some really read the small print, or they control the copy it and put it into a notepad. What you can actually do in Power Automate solutions is you can open up the show raw outputs and you see you've got a lot more room to maneuver. You can see the schema names, you can click in here, you can do a control find and you can try and find the data for whatever you're looking for. So if I close that down and then what I'll do is I'll show you the Power Apps version. So if we come in here, I'll go back to my flows. I'll open up one that's already been previously run. We'll add a new role, open it up, and you can see it's a lot more difficult. We don't have those open raw data um, links to open up the raw data, so this really would be a copy and paste or going and fetching the, the details from somewhere else. I'm now back in the Power Automate. I'm not going to navigate back to Power Apps now, so everything I'm going to do is in within the Power Automate. And I just want to put together a quick manual trigger of adding a location, adding a city. That'll then add it to a record, and then I'll show you the button, how it looks on your mobile device. So the, the scenario for this, if somebody gets to a certain area and they want to put their location in, they can just press the button on the phone and it'll mark that location for them, and then we can do whatever we want to do, the art of the possible. So first thing, if I open up the manual trigger we can see that's like shown earlier we can have a look we can have a look at the raw outputs so you can see what we're actually pulling back so you can see i've got my name out of this one already perfect so, so you can see that we've got areas uh, for inputs and outputs and what we want to do is make sure that all, everything that lives in the trigger we want to put it into the add new row so i'm going to edit and inside edit you can see we've already got surname but okay okay but i want city Let's have a look. So I'm going to open up the dynamic value. I'm going to close down the environment and value variables. And we can see now that we've got city, state, street, postcode, latitude, and longitude. So I'm going to populate these. So I'm going to add city. Um, I could add street, I believe. So we've got full address, straight street. So I'll put street in. We're going to put postcode in there. Um, and then I want to add lat and long. So let's put let's find the lat, latitude and longitude. So we've got address one. So latitude, so we'll come in here, we'll add latitude, and in this one I want to add longitude. Perfect. Um, are we missing any? No. We can keep to them on. So now I've got that data in there, I'm going to save. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run it again and we're going to call it something specific and then I'll take you across to my contacts to see what it has created. So we've got the test, we'll do it manually. Enter surname, so I'm going to put Alcaton test location. I know it's not right, but it helps run flow. It's done. So once this is done, so the first thing I can do here is we're going to check that the data has gone across once it's run before I go show you the contacts. So we've got the add new row, and now what we can do using Power Automate, I can come in and go, perfect, it's brought back the data. So we can see my address, um, postcode, and everything else that's gone through it just by pressing one button. So, and again, you can see more raw data that's come through. So if you feel like you've missed anything, you can go, actually, we can go and add that in. So we've got composite address, we've got all the O data, we've got the longitude, latitude, and anything else that we want to put in there. When you're triggering a manual trigger, you can do this through a flow step within your business process flow. You can do this manually inside here, like we've shown before. So we can test and do it manually. Or you can open up your phone, download the Power Automate app, Log in with your details, and then what you'll see on the buttons page is uh, an image like this. So you can see that you can have the button, and this one is get location. You press that button, and it'll fire the flow for you. Now that's been created, what I'm going to do is navigate across to contacts. And you can see I've got a pre filtered view here already, but you can see this has been created. It's putting my postcode, my locations, my latitude, and longitude. And if I open that up, and it's been mapped correctly you can see that it's added my address but it's also put me in the location where i am 
um, on the map. So for those that are working on the computers inside, they can see where everyone is, but for those on the outside, they're recording where they, where they need to be. Hope you've enjoyed that and uh, stay tuned for more.